Welcome back. Uh, we are just going to make the shovel today. Um, I know it was pointed out previously that there's other ways of doing it, just using a, a former and knocking it around the former. But this seems like a, a nicer way to get it a bit more uniform, although we do end up just knocking it around the former later on. But let's take a look and let me know what you think. <clears throat> we might have the former, the, the male part, a bit too far up, so we'll have a reposition. So we've got to this stage, it's in there quite tight now, so we will pop it out and then finish it off beating around this one. Alex is just finishing off, beating one out. And we're going to get it hot as well. So you might be able to see a little split there, which we'll sort out with the TIG motor when we're done. So this is how it came out. Maybe I've left it a bit high at the back. Don't know, we'll see. I'll leave it like that for now. You can see the areas that needed a little bit of TIG welding to cover the holes. We'll do that now and then look at the handle. So there's the former in the background, the, not the former, the shovel blade, tidied up to a certain extent. Not perfect, but it'll do the job. The handle, made out of a bit of rod, and I have slit down there with the angle grinder, so that that can be, go on there, and that will be soldered in place, or brazed, or welded, haven't quite decided yet. but. Yeah, the next stage is to sort of make the handle shape. So the next stage, we're going to put a shape at the top of the handle. And here goes Alex with a little jig that has come been borrowed from his father. <laughs> and he's just trying to figure out how to use it by the look of it. We'll be back in a second.
Hang on. So with the handle finished, I've just placed it here at the moment, but I'm going to just weld around there then I'll flip it around and weld around the inside as well, maybe when it's a bit cooler. So all that was left to do was to put a bend on the shovel. So we now have a shovel for the engine. But it's also a nice size for the Duke. So it will live in my toolbox. So having made the shovel, we also made a matching poker. So I've got shovel and rake, which suit the two big engines. So that's it with the shovel and rake made. We are ready to go. As far as I can think, there's nothing left really needed for the uh, Junty. Although we are looking at making a coal pot to fit in the front of the wagon, which Alex is just writing down measurements for us for. Uh, but that will come later if we get round to it. Well, the weather's pretty horrible today, to say the least, but we are doing the boiler test. Got through the hydraulic, although there's a few threads and things leaking here and there and glands, but nothing to worry about. Now on steam test time. So I've got to apologise, I didn't take any video during the test, but as you can probably guess already, we passed the boiler test. So we're out on the back. Just going up a little truck. Let's take a look. So she is part of the station, she's passed the test. There's a few bits that concern me. The regulator gland leaks a bit. That's about the only thing here. There's one leaking drain cock up at the front. And to be honest, the timing doesn't sound great. But listen to this whistle. And the lubricator drive up at the front isn't moving. It's uh, not driving. So that's going to be probably something we need to do before it comes out next. Everything else I can live with. So I think that's it for today. Um, we're still going around the track. I'm just trying to run the fire down. I've done about five laps so far. Uh, and take a look at what we've still got. want to die uh, so I'll still be going for a little while a few more laps try and get rid of some of this make it easier to drop the fire uh, but yeah thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed it um, and I will catch you again another day yeah.